Hi and welcome to the Friendship Framework. In this video we want to show you a special technique dedicated for the design of parametric models. As an example, a simple wing is designed from scratch. You get a good impression of the workflow and the graphical user interface. In particular, such a model is then perfectly suited for systematic studies and formal optimizations. The modeling process consists of three logical steps. First of all, define your individual curve from which the surface shall be generated. The curve can be controlled by a set of arbitrary parameters. Second, create functions for these parameters in order to define how they behave in a certain range. Third, generate the parametric surface. In this last step, the curve definition is combined with the parameter distributions. Let's start with the curve. For the wing profile we choose an f-spline from the curve menu. For this curve type, the tangent angles at the endings can be controlled by the user. In addition, the sectional area is an input, too. For the sweeping direction we introduce a parameter. It controls the spatial location of the profile. Let's do the same for the sectional area. Now we can control the profile area using this separate parameter. That's it. Store this curve with its parameter input as a new user-defined feature. This feature definition will be used in a minute for generating our surface. We put the profile construction into a new scope just to structure the project. Now let's create functions for the two parameters that is location and area. Again, for having a good project structure, we prepare a scope for the upcoming functions. We create a simple linear and increasing function for the first parameter, the location. The distribution of the sectional area shall be given as a smooth and curved function. We choose a B-spline curve that can be nicely controlled by a set of points. The function is initialized with a constant value for the sectional area. Now let's combine our two-dimensional profile definition with our parameter distributions and see what happens. The profile and its functions are linked to each other using a key object of the friendship framework, the curve engine.
Here, the stored curve definition is chosen that is our profile curve from the first step. The parameter distributions are always given in a principal plane that we still have to specify. The individual curve that represents the function of a parameter is then simply dragged into the editor. All required information is now linked. Based on this curve engine the surface can be created. In this example, the interval of the parameter distributions is between 0 and 1. These abscissa values are entered as lower and upper bound. Here is our first parametric wing. Let's change the sectional area distribution of the wing by simply moving a control point of our function. Finally, if you like to have further parameters for the surface, just add them to the underlying profile definition. Create a new distribution for the additional parameter and set it at the curve engine. Again, let's apply some changes to our wing by using the new function for the length. The wing is now ready for systematic studies and optimization. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you have enjoyed it. Bye.